My name is Ropan Yuganti. I am a 23-year-old um, IT associate and music engineer, guitar player. As a strong hobby, I make music videos, usually covers of popular music from games or TV or movie soundtracks, as well as some other things. And I also work in a large community uh, who do the same thing for different purposes. Uh, for the past five years especially, I've been you know, heavily engaged in the soundtrack community, both people composing as well as people who are uh, rearranging music. I've gotten more active over the years. About three years ago is when I started doing collaborative albums and um, around last year is when I started doing it uh, at a more professional level. I make music on YouTube and um, yeah, we're, we're all just kind of part of a, a really cool community and we collaborate and it's a fun time. We just make our own arrangements of songs we really like. I've always been a huge fan of games since maybe I was four or five. I never really had this outlet or understanding of how home recording worked. I saw one user who went by the name Family Jewels and he was basically in one room using um, you know, very bare minimum inexpensive tools to record himself uh, doing very uh, metalcore. He would take the musical aspects of those and combine them with the melodic content of video game music. It really got me thinking, you know, if someone can do this in their room with a very small budget as, you know, a high schooler would, um, you know, why couldn't I and why couldn't anybody else for that matter? Being in this community, I... Well, first of all, it taught me how to play guitar and bass and a little bit of keyboard, which is great. Taught me how to produce music by myself. Uh, all that stuff that generally comes with joining a musical community. But I've also been able to see uh, friends in different countries. I've, I've been to festivals and like conventions based on the community. It's just great to really meet all the different people in the community and sort of meet uh, quite a few people who are known outside of the community because of the community. The first project that I ever really ran or took upon myself um, is called the Multiplayer Project and basically it was in 2013 during the summer so we took upon this idea to create a charity album and we just combined these different tracks into one album and we gave all the profits to Child's Play which is a charity that focuses on buying kids toys and books and you know video games things uh, during the time that they need it most from there we spawned two sequels as well as um, a few smaller albums including one dedicated to a fan of the community where we raised enough money um, to help him pay medical bills for a new kidney um, and that was run by a friend of mine Evan Dover um, and currently we're also working with the Hurricane Harvey efforts on a small album in order to assist with um, those in Texas who have been hit by the recent storms and um, we're planning on creating another album by the end of the year as well. I'd say my life has changed. It's given me a sort of different perspective on a lot of things. It sort of taught me that stuff can be work and play at the same time. You can really enjoy something you're working on and you can make something fun work if you really want to as well. And uh, you can sort of choose whether you want to have fun with something or not. It makes it easier to set schedules for yourself, even in everyday life, once you sort of understand that you, you can make work a fun thing if you really want it to be fun. I think everyone is pushing to, first of all, grow each other. The quality of music that can be produced in a bedroom or just in a college dorm or anything has gone up. Um, the quality of music samples and software, it's all just giving us so much tools that there's no longer going to be unrealistic sounding things, for example. But the knowledge of music theory and recording practice and all that, I think uh, it still needs a strong effort to grow. There's gonna be a point where I stop doing you know, covers of video game music and stuff, but I think the people that I've met in the community are probably going to be there for the rest of my life, I think.